Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to send an HTTP patch request in REST Assured. An HTTP patch request is used to update an existing resource. Now you might wonder if HTTP put also does the same, then when to use put and when patch. Guys, simply saying when a client needs to replace an existing resource entirely, they can use put. When they are doing a partial update, they can use HTTP patch. For instance, when updating a single field of a resource, sending the complete resource representation can be cumbersome and uses a lot of unnecessary bandwidth. In such cases, the semantics of patch makes a lot of sense. Now in the API under test, we have worked upon this member endpoint which manipulated this member database. Now each member has got these three attributes id name and gender let's say that name field will often be updated by the client in that case we don't want to send the whole member object with all fields but we do want the ability to only update the name field this is then possible via the patch method now from the implementation perspective there are many ways we can implement http patch and it is also dependent upon the technology being used to build the REST API. In our API in the test, ternary operator was sufficient to implement patch. So the logic is, if client provides value for an attribute in the request, update the resource with that new value, else keep the existing value. Let me walk you through my REST API code. So this is my patch endpoint. It takes in the ID which you want to update. Okay, and then in the request, we provide in the body. In the body, we provide in only those attributes which you want to change. And then the first thing that we do is we check whether that particular ID exists in the database or not. And if it does exist, then guys, this is the thing that we do. We say, okay, hey, in the request body, do we see a name? Okay. If we see the name, okay, we update it, else we keep the existing one. It's that simple, okay. And if the record does not exist, okay, we just say the member with ID does not exist, okay. Now in the postman, I've already set up this endpoint and as you could see that we are only providing the name, we are not passing in the gender. But in case of put, okay, we are supposed to provide both, otherwise this API will not work, okay. So if I send the request now, the record is successfully updated and we have only provided the name and not the gender. Okay. So as you can see, the record is updated. We go back to our database and we check that, yes, this is updated. Now we got to do the same using rest assured, right? So as we know, both put and patch are used to update an existing record. So can I use the put? logic in here yes i can use the put code and i'm gonna make the necessary adjustments now i'm gonna copy uh all the code except the last two methods so why i'm ignoring these last two methods because in these two methods we are working with the model or the pojo object okay now in the pojo object you have to provide both name and gender okay but in patch we just want to provide the partial data not the entire data okay therefore i am skipping this so guys i'll encourage you to go and check out my video on post basics okay so i come back to patch paste this stuff and i'm gonna make the necessary changes okay so now the first thing so we have created a global object for request specification so that we can use the same in our subsequent test cases now the first thing is before method so in here we're just going to set up few things all right so we are constructing the request object okay from this before method so request object is represented by request specification okay so we say rest assured dot base uri so we are setting up the base uri then we are setting the base path and in the base path as you could see we also have to provide the id because with the help of this id only we are going to uniquely identify the record then there are two headers okay the first header is of type except which tells the server that client is interested in getting the data in this particular format 
and since we are attaching the request payload to the request object okay we have to tell the server that the type the content type of the request payload is application json okay now we have got these two headers we put these headers into a list and then there is a method headers on the request specification object with the help of which we pass in both of these headers all right so we have rest assured dot given okay so this construct the request specification object and to that these are all the different methods that you can chain now authentication is required when you want to set some kind of authentication and in our api in the test we are using basic authentication and hence you see auth dot basic admin admin using the headers we have already added the headers and then path parameter why because we have to replace this id value okay so therefore we say hey the path parameter that you have to replace is id and replace it with the value 4 okay so that explains our setup method in which our request specification object is ready now let's move on to our test cases so the first test case is the non bd representation of making an http patch request okay in there we are updating the member we have to provide in the body so i'm gonna get rid of this all right i'm gonna go to my postman i'm gonna copy this okay and then eclipse will do the rest okay so you see it's already formatted and this time i'm gonna just call it aline okay and we have to execute it so we say true now we have the body that we want to supply to the request specification object we do it using the body method which is again available on the http request object which we have created and then you supply this body great next thing is now your request is ready you have to just send it all right so the method that we have to use it patch all right so you say http request.patch now this returns you the response so therefore you store that in here now in the next line we are just printing the response body using this method as pretty string which exists on this response all right so i'm going to save everything and execute this so now if everything works ellie should be changed to elin and there you go it's changed let's check that in a database and yes that's the case great so now let's move on to the next one set it to true and in this we are using the bdd style okay so again let me delete this copy the stuff from postman come back paste it in here and this time i say arena again we have the request specification we have the body method but this time we say when i make the patch request okay so this returns me the response and and written also returns you the response okay but this looks uh, nicer from the reading perspective so this returns us the response we store it in here in the next line we are just simply printing the response body onto the console i'm going to save it and run it so from Eileen, it should be changed to ravina there you go it's updated and we're going to check it in here okay all right let's move on to the next one i'm going to set it to false in the next one we are making use of map okay so using hash map we are creating an a reference for this map interface all right now this time we can pass in the partial data all right so i'm just gonna say i'm gonna pass the name only all right so i'm gonna delete this so now I have the map, okay, and I'm going to use the same syntax. So as you could see, HTTP request dot body. Now in the body, you can also provide map. So we are providing map and we just change this method to patch. And once we have the response using this as pretty string, we are logging it to the console. That's it. So let me set it to true. Save it. Execute this. So now instead of ramina i believe it should be julia okay it's updated great so i'm gonna set it to false and we are going to move on to the next one so the next one is we are making use of this json object which comes from google json library so we create this json object okay 
and then there is a method called as add property with the help of which you can provide in the key value combination so key would be name and the value would be john okay then http request or body you provide in this json object when you send the patch request okay you get the response back which you store it in here and with the help of this as pretty string you get the response body which you print to the console let me save it run it from julia it should be now changed to john okay as you could see it's changed to john there you go okay let's move on to the next one i'm gonna set it to false now guys the remaining three test cases require a file okay so the file is there under src test resources payloads folder and the name of the file is patch member and in that we have this data tina okay so uh, first test case is we are simply going to read that file okay so i'm gonna set it to true and the way we are going to read file is using this file api which comes from java.io uh, package and you have file body is equal to new file and then you provide in the path okay so the name of our file is patch all right and then you have this http request you in the body method you provide in this file you change the method to patch and this will return your response and again you use the pretty string method so i'm gonna save it and execute this okay so the value is updated to tina let's check that and yes so i'm gonna revert to the previous value because we have to work on the same file i'm gonna uh, press ctrl s which means that server is now started all right great let's go back set it to false next method we are going to read that file as input stream okay this java.lang.object.getClass method on that you have this get class loader and then you have got get resources stream and in here you just provide in the path of the file from this resource directory okay so we have under this resource directory payloads folder and under that you have this patch member.json okay you have this great again you have to supply this input stream as a body to your request okay and then you have to specify the type of method that will return you the response and again you read the response body using this as pretty string okay you have to change this to true save everything and execute it so again we'll see tina in the database all right let's go back and yeah you see tina again i'm going to switch back to previous value i'm going to restart my server okay and in the last test case we are reading the same file as byte array okay so how do we do that so we have this files api which comes from java.niu.file package and then on that you have this read all bytes and in here you have to provide and what you have to provide in the path so you fetch that using paths.get and then you provide the complete path so i'm gonna change it again to patch all right then again we have to supply this byte array to our request body and we have to set the method as patch and this will return as a response again we we'll print the response body onto the console i'm going to save it run it and there you go so the value is also updated all right guys so this is how you're going to make a patch request in rest thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video